As a supplementary branch of the Imperial Navy, Navy security officers, troopers, crew and technicians performed an intricate part of the running of the Imperial military. This video explains what the naval security roles were and their associated rank insignias according to King Doran's rank chart. An officer, trooper or crewman could generally be identified as performing a naval security role by their black tunic uniform and separate naval security rank insignia structure. Although officers in the Starfighter Corps and Naval Operations also wore black tunic uniforms, for example Colonel Gendon and Brom Titus, those branches were completely separate within the Imperial Navy. In contrast to the Imperial Navy line branches, officers and crew who supported the primary Imperial military forces in grey or olive green uniforms, Navy security acted in a variety of roles to supplement the Navy line fleet resource and allowing them to focus solely on the overall control of the galaxy and conflicts, especially during the Galactic Civil War. Throughout the Imperial era, Navy troopers were particularly visible as security crew members upon Star Destroyers and cruisers, but also held a heavy presence aboard both the first and the second Death Stars. Notably, Navy troopers guarded the entrance of the Death Star conference room for the Joint Chiefs, but also acted as security for docking bays, detention blocks, and checkpoints across the battle station's sensitive areas. Navy security crewmen performed the same role as their Navy line counterparts and manned the ship's controls and onboard systems of security patrol vessels. Notably in the Andor series, in 5 BBY senior officers aboard the Cantwell class arrestor cruisers such as Captain Elk with the rank insignia of three blue and two red tiles. His first officer in the scene held the rank of commander with the insignia of three blue and one red tile and the third officer appears to be one of three grades of lieutenant. The shield gate officer above the planet Scarif in 0 BBY holds the Navy security rank of senior commander with four blue tiles. In A New Hope, security officers were also seen on board the first Death Star. Paul Trident was assigned as a gantry officer to the command office that overlooked the docking bay 327. His rank insignia in canon is hard to place as his four blue tiles match the rank of senior commander of the security branch ranks prior to the Battle of Yavin, although he was given the rank of lieutenant. His aide in the scene held the rank insignia of two red tiles, which lends itself to the Navy operations rank of lieutenant junior grade. Upon the second Death Star, Navy troopers are seen assigned to the security operations of the battle station's docking bays. In this scene, although the movie Return of the Jedi did not display rank insignias upon their black tunic uniforms, there were two officers speaking in the scene, Jad Bean and Lieutenant Endicott. And as this was set after the Battle of Yavin, Endicott should have displayed the rank insignia of two red tiles over two blue tiles. Although Jad Bean was a non-commissioned officer, he possibly held the Navy rank of Ensign. In 9 ABY from the Mandalorian Series 2, there were two unidentified security officers to note that served Moff Gideon's Imperial Remnant. The first was seen upon the bridge of a Gazanti cruiser, although the other Imperial Navy officers wore Navy Line olive green uniforms. His was a black uniform and monitored the cruiser's security during an attack by Din Djarin and Bo-Katan. He held the Navy security rank of Lieutenant, with the typical double row insignia of the post-Battle of Yavin rank structure. The other officer seen was inside the command center of the Imperial Remnant's base on the planet Navarro. Although he was not seen wearing a rank insignia and possibly a non-commissioned security officer, he was most likely to hold the rank of Ensign. For more Imperial Explained videos, please give a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and as always, long live the Empire.